Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are discussing top 10 robotic applications in the agricultural industry. Before get started make sure to like the video, subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. Agriculture is changing drastically thanks to automation and robotics. The benefits of agriculture automation are clear. Lower costs for customers, a major reduction in the environmental impact of farming, and effectively lower labor costs overall. Agriculture automation businesses are launching the farming industry into a totally modern environment with self-driving tractors, weeding robots, and controlled environment agriculture. Number 1. Nursery Planting In nurseries, seeds are transformed into young plants that are then planted outdoors. Although they are frequently marketed directly to consumers and landscape gardeners, nursery plants also serve as the beginning of some crops' journeys to become food. The demand for nursery automation is growing. Companies like Harvest Automation and HETO Agrotechnics, who we previously mentioned, offer automation systems for sowing, potting, and storing living plants in greenhouses. Number 2. Crop Seeding in a field, many food plants start out as seeds. Sowing seeds traditionally entails dispersing them with a tractor-mounted, broadcast spreader. This scatters several seeds across the field as the tractor moves along at a consistent speed. It is not a particularly effective way to sow because seeds may be wasted. Geomapping and robotics are used in autonomous precision seeding. The soil characteristics, quality, density, etc. for each location in the field are displayed on a map. The robotic seeding attachment on the tractor then distributes the seeds at specific depths and positions to maximize their chances of sprouting. Number 3. Crop Monitoring and Analysis It takes a lot of work to monitor vast crop fields. Farmers are now able to obtain a considerably better degree of data about their crops than they previously could because to new sensor and geomapping technologies. Drones and ground robots can automatically gather this data. Farmers can choose from combination packages that include robotic hardware and analysis software from drone firms like PrecisionHawk. Once the drone is in the field, the farmer may launch the software using a tablet or smartphone and monitor the agricultural data that has been captured in real time. Since they can travel closer to the crops, ground-based robots like Bony Rob offer even more thorough surveillance. Some can also be utilized for additional duties like fertilizing and weeding. Number 4. Fertilizing and Irrigation Water has historically been utilized extensively for crop irrigation and fertilization, which is highly inefficient. By concentrating on particular plants, robot-assisted precision irrigation can cut down on water waste. Using autonomous ground robots, water is applied directly to the base of each plant as they move between rows of crops. Another benefit of robots is that they can access places that other machinery cannot. For instance, maize growers struggle with the issue that the plants develop too quickly for consistent fertilization. Robot, which maneuvers smoothly between the rows of corn and applies nitrogen fertilizer directly to the base of each plant, tries to address this issue. Number 5. Crop Weeding and Spraying In addition to being inefficient, spraying insecticides and weed killers into fields can have a negative impact on the environment. Robots offer a far more effective approach. The idea of micro-spraying could drastically cut down on the amount of herbicide needed to grow crops. Robots that utilize micro-spraying detect weeds with the help of computer vision technology and then spray a precise drop of pesticide onto them. This method is utilized by the solar-powered robot AgBot 2. Some weeding robots can be used without any chemical input. For instance, RoboCrop uses computer vision to find plants while being pushed by a tractor. In order to remove the weeds, it then automatically hoses the areas between the plants. Other weeding robots kill the weeds with lasers. Number 6. Thinning and Pruning To increase each plant's chance of growth, the density of the plants is reduced through thinning. Pruning entails removing a portion of a plant to promote growth. This year, a prize was given to the Lettuce Thinning Robot LettuceBot for excellent product innovation in agriculture. 
It makes decisions on which lettuce plants to preserve and which to eliminate as it drives over them using computer vision to identify the plants. The most significant attempts to automate pruning have been made in the wine business because it is a difficult task. Wall Yi is a self-contained vine pruning robot for vineyards. The business has also created a robot for trimming blueberries. Number 7. Autonomous Tractors. A few of the robots I've discussed are tractor attachments. Robots are made to adjust to the speed that people are driving because they typically operate tractors. Fully autonomous tractors, however, are also gaining popularity. According to the ID Tech X Agricultural Robots Study, more than 300,000 autonomous tractors were sold in 2016. Another emerging idea is follow the leader autonomy, in which tractors autonomously follow combine harvesters driven by people to gather the grain. Number 8. Picking and Harvesting. Crops like corn, barley, and wheat are easy to harvest. An automated combine harvester, similar to a tractor, can be used to complete the task. Other crops, such soft fruits, require greater hand dexterity, making them harder to harvest. Progress is being made on a few harvesting applications, including apple, grape, and sweet pepper picking, as part of the EU-funded Clever Robots for Crops project. Number 9. Shepherding and Herding. Although the majority of agricultural robots are now used in crop production, there are a few new uses in sheep and cow husbandry. Drones have been spotted being used by farmers in both New Zealand and Ireland to round up their livestock over challenging, lengthy terrain. On YouTube, there are numerous videos showing drones being used to herd cattle. This might be less expensive than the pricey helicopters that Australian ranchers now utilize. Number 10. Milking. As a major advancement, collaborative robots are now being used on dairy farms to assist in the milking process. In order to prepare the cow's udders for milking, this case study from Universal Robots demonstrates how a UR5 can be used to spray a disinfectant on them. It appears certain that automation will continue to transform agriculture and alter how we view food production. Thank you for watching the video.